guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rosanna so in today's video I, I have to do a declutter I have to start doing decluttering so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be doing a makeup declutter but I think I'm gonna make this a series and we're gonna start off with concealers so that is what we're gonna be doing today but before we get into that video I would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel you could ring the bell it will give you notifications of when I post which is every Tuesday and every Saturday so yep like make comments tell your friends subscribe help a newbie out I would so so appreciate your support and thank you so so much for helping me grow this channel and now without further ado let's get started okay guys so these are some of my concealers now you know girl how I feel about my concealers I am 55 years old yeah I'm very particular about my concealers I mean my under eyes aren't really that dry it's tricky it's really really tricky so I have gone through tons of concealers and it's about time I have to do a declutter I just have to so anyway I'm just grabbing randomly and these aren't even the ones that I have been loving that's in another batch but anyway this is brand new you see it's not even out of the package this is the revolution IRL filter finish this is in C4 I think I like this color I think I think this is just an extra one so I'm definitely gonna keep this one I do like my concealers a little bit on the lighter side although you know I have been learning but I do have a trickity trick trick with my concealers and the ones that I do have I'm not gonna waste them so this one is a definite keeper this one's a keeper this is just a repurchase this is the NARS this is the NARS this is the NARS um, radiant cream concealer that I love I actually uh, my daughter took my full-size one so you know girl you know how I am I have to get a backup so I did purchase this just as a, a repurchase but I grabbed the little one because I mean look so this is definitely a keeper um, this girl this is from 1912 look at this this is the stay naked corrector concealer um, and this is in 40 nn I used to love this let's take a looky shall we love the doe foot look how cute and let's see I mean it is pretty though right my skin is so dry. This lighting sucks. I'm improvising here. Does it smell? Hold up. It's still okay. I think. Let's put this in a maybe pile. So a keep. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a keep over here. I'm gonna do a maybe over there. So these are just like backups of different colors. So of course, this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. This is definitely a keeper, but where the heck's the color on this bad boy? Because obviously I've used it. Um, oh, this is in beige. So I think this would be good for me like to uh, like spot conceal. So this is a keeper. Girl, we're keeping, keeping, keeping. Uh, by the way, my windows are open. It's a beautiful day out. You're going to hear birds, trucks, cars. Anyway, that's the background. Um, so let's see. So this is the KVD concealer. This is in light 109. I'm not, the doe foot's adorbs. The doe foot is adorbs. See now, it does look pretty though, doesn't it? Very, very light, even though it's full coverage. <sighs> this declutter isn't going well. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe this one. Let's maybe that one. We're gonna maybe it. Okay, girl. Um, oh, you know what? Here's another, here's another uh, IRL. This is C6 and that is C4. Um, I'm thinking now, um, I'm thinking now that my mind is clearing up here. Can you see like C6? I don't know if this light does it justice, but C6 looks a light, a little bit lighter than C4. I think I was having problems with the color because the numbers weren't like coordinating. Very tricky. So I think I'm going to keep these both for now. For now. Um, hello. This is a Dalgon Keeper. This I was fooling around with the colors. This is in P3, which I thought for me was kind of peachy-ish it's yeah so I, I don't think this is the right color because I am using N1 for the under eyes and then N3 to spot conceal so I don't know what the hell to do with this I have to tell you the truth leave me some comments below does anybody did anybody grab a P3 and how does it look on your skin I'm I'm a light medium with a neutral skin tone so let's put that in the maybe pile because come on I love that um yeah i um mm, ah, this is a nyx can't stop won't stop concealer and i have mine in natural i mean i really wasn't a fan it was okay ish people have been loving it 
I don't know. I think I'm going to declutter this one. Yay! First declutter. I think I'm going to declutter it. It's just not my jam. I adore, adore LYS. Adore it. For some reason, their concealer creases immediately on me. Creases immediately. This is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer. I have mine in MN1. I mean, it's such a freaking pretty product. It's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Bachi, where do you think you're going, my man? Um, yeah, he's right behind me. It's so pretty. Bachi, love the packaging. I love LYS. This breaks my heart. But I have tried this a few times. And even with powder, it just creases too much on me. So I'm going to have to declutter that. The Rare Beauty I love. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Of course, like I said, they are so freaking light, girl. What were you thinking? But I'm definitely keeping this. Um, girl, this was my OG Low Down Dirty Shame. I love, love, love this product. This is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. And I think I have this one in, I think it was Alabaster. If I was the color... Ah, uh, yes. There it is right there. Love this concealer. I haven't touched it in a minute. It's messy. You know, I can't stand these spongy applicators. It's light as all hell, but I really love it. I am going to keep this one. Like I said before, I do have a trickety trick trick when um, my concealers are too light. I will show that to you. Remind me. Remind me next time I do uh, a video. So I will show you um, how I darken up my concealer when it's a little bit too light um hmm this is the pixie concealer in nude it's okay i'm gonna declutter this one this is the essence keep me covered concealer with aloe vera hmm, it's okay it's a little bit watery it's a little bit watery it's okay you know nothing to write home about maybe i'll put this in the maybe pile look at this and i also have another one Girl, where are you going? The same color? No. Let's see. So this one is in, this one is in shell and this one is in, I have no idea, but I'm going to hold off on these and put a maybe. It's okay. Um, this super stay that everybody was loving. This is the super stay from Maybelline. I have mine in 15. I mean... It's nice and all. It's just like doing this right here, it feels very dry to me. So, and girl, I already have like aging under eyes. I think this is just way too thick for me. So I'm going to declutter that one. If you hear any noises in the background, that's the boyfriend. So this is, of course, the Lancome Tint Doll Concealer. I mean, I love this concealer. It's just way too drying for me under the eyes, but I love to spot conceal with it. So this one, of course, is a little bit too light to spot conceal, but I think I could potentially get away with it. What color is this? Uh, this one is in bisque. Oh my God, listen to his noise. He's having a fight with my sheets. So I'm definitely going to keep this one can't use it for my under eye, but I really love to spot conceal um, with it. So that is great. This one never even opened. This is the uh, RK. I think I got this on Amazon. Uh, um, someone recommended it for like a um, color corrector with the orange. Never opened it. Yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, the Elf Camo. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I really love this concealer, but it's old as dust. Let's see. Yeah, look how pretty that is. So I'm going to just declutter it because it's old, but I really do like it. Am I going to repurchase it? Probably not because I have so many great concealers that I adore. I recently did a video on a few physicians formula products I picked up. And this was the concealer, the Butter Glow Concealer. I really wasn't a fan. First of all, this little doohickey is dumb as hell. My opinion. And it's okay. I mean, look how friggin' light it is. Again, where are you going? Look at that. Lord, lordy, lordy. It is very, very watery, but it is hydrating. I'm just not a fan. Nothing crazy. So I'm going to definitely declutter that one. Okay, I'm doing a great job. Doing a great job. Um, this is the Joa Eye Serum. Mm, not crazy about it. I'm going to declutter that one. But the, this is the Milk Makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Concealer. I liked it. I liked it. Um, I can't say that I use it enough 
to make a legit comment on it. So I'm going to hold off and keep this because I don't remember what I thought about it. So I'm definitely going to reassess that one. Listen, this is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I mean, it's all right. It's okay. I'm definitely not going to declutter it because it is Hourglass. I just, of course, grabbed the mini because I really wanted to try it. I mean, it's nice and all. I'm going to just keep it, but I'm not sure if it's going to stay in my keep pile. This is great because I haven't touched these concealers in a minute. I have another one of these uh, Pixies I'm going to declutter. But anyway, it gives me a good opportunity to go back in and uh, reuse these because I really don't remember what... So, oh my gosh, this is a company that when my daughter was studying abroad, we went to Florence and um, this Wycon, W-Y-C-O-N, I guess was like an Italian company, Wycon Fiona. Anyway, it was nice, but I've had it for at least five years. I got to go. This has got to go. And this is the uh, CoverGirl True Blend. It's lit. I can't remember what the heck I thought about that. I don't, first of all, don't like the, don't like the tip. And it feels very, very thick. Yeah, that feels super thick. So I'm going to definitely declutter that. This is, looks like it's old as dust. This is the, um, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Rating Concealer. Wasn't a fan of this. I thought it was so watery and light. And I don't think that color is for me. It looks very... Itchy. I'm going to declutter this. I'm sure I've had it forever. And of course, this is definitely staying. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser, and I have this one in fair. Go figure. But I have a few of these that um, I mix, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Okay, so here's the declutter. I'm going to put it right back in here. So these are the, the these are all the ones that I'm going to declutter. So let me just go grab another basket with the concealers that I have been using currently that I adore. Okay, so these are the ones that I have been in circulation lately. So I love this product. Of course, this is the NYX Bear With Me. And I have this one in, what is this one? This one is in light. So I, of course, I love this. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I have a few of the Maybelline Age Rewinds. Look how fabulous. Adore. I have like, look at that, maybe that much left. So this one is in light. This one is in neutralize. And of course, this one is the 160, the pink one that's been, um, that went viral lately. Love these three. So I do use these frequently. i put these right over here. Again, this is the Tinty Doll. This one is in ivory. And here's this one. And then this one is in bisque. So I guess I could mix these. Again, to spot conceal, cannot use this under my eyes. So definitely keeping that. Here's another Makeup Revolution IRL finish. This is C3. I have C6. And what was the other one in C4? So I have C3, C4, and C6. Again, I think I was just having problems with color matching it, but I really, really love um, this concealer. So that's a keeper. I mean, adore. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Absolutely Love, love, love this concealer. So that, of course, is a keeper. That's in my circulation. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Of course, this has been my ride or die lately, the Natasha Denona concealer. And I use N1 under my eyes and N3 to spot conceal. Again, that P3, I don't know. So this is, let me just show you the difference, those two colors. So this is the N1. Again, it's. I know it's a little light, but I do like my under eyes brightened. And then this is N3, which I spot conceal. With the N3. Let me just show you real quick. I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny difference. Love, love, love this. And this has been my OG forever in a day. This is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer that I have loved for years. This has been my ride or die true blue forever, for years. It's got to be, I don't know, two, three, four years. Love this until a couple other things came along. So anyway, so that is it. So these right here have been my go-to lately. And I declared about 11 concealers. I think that's pretty stinking good. That is really good. So I have five concealers in my maybe pile that I need to go through because I can't remember. 
and I have about 10 in my keep. So that's not bad. I think we did a-okay. So right over here is where I put my little concealer um, little bin here. So let me just move this stuff over here. That's a little bit dirty. I gotta clean that up. What's up with that? All right, so I'm gonna just put this right in here. If it's nice and neat. We're gonna have to get to that next. These are my primers. I don't even wear. I don't even wear them. You guys know that. So that is that. So this is where I put my concealers. Okay, and now I'm in my bathroom. So these are my products over here that I use like on a daily. So I'm gonna, I like to put these, the uh, the Maybelline Age Rewind, I put them back here. Cause I don't use them like all of the time. I also put, um, I also put the Lancome Tint E Doll back here, right over here. The Natasha Denona, this is the N3 that I wear um, to spot conceal. I put that over there and then like right over here. By the way, these are the refer um, dividers. I love them because they're all magnetic. They all, it's filthy. Um, they all stick together. They all magnetize together, which I love. So over here are the concealers that I use on the daily. And that's that. That's what that's the organization for my concealers. Yep. So that's it guys. This is my video of my makeup decluttering of my concealers. We are going to be doing a series, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other, love each other and have a great, great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.